Good evening. You're watching the news from the Saltnet of Oman Television. First, the headlines. The Supreme Council for Planning completes discussions of draft document of the ninth five-year plan and reviews ways of expanding the role of the private sector and investment funds. Dispute settlement and good governance for managing sports authorities top discussions of Oman Sports Conference 2015. And the Minister of Health stresses that the Sultanate is free from polio. Those were the headlines. Now for the news in detail. His Majesty Sultan Qaboos has received a cable of thanks from His Excellency President Memnoon Hussein of Pakistan in reply to His Majesty's cable of greetings on his country's National Day. The Supreme Council for Planning completed discussions of draft document of the ninth five-year plan 2016-2020 and its financial frame. The second meeting of the Council also viewed financial and economic situations, changes witnessed by the global markets and looked into mechanisms available to meet development requirements as a frame for the ninth five-year plan. It also discussed ways capable of expanding the role of the private sector and investment funds in the field of projects of economic feasibility and strengthening the their investment in various fields, including productive economic projects that would be achieved through enhancing environment of business and partnership between public and private sectors, developing small and medium-sized enterprises, and increasing job opportunities for Omanis in the private sector. The meeting was presided over by His Excellency Dr. Ali bin Masoud Estenaidi, Minister of Commerce and Industry and Vice Chairman of the Supreme Council for Planning. Good governance for managing sports authorities, dispute sports settlements, and discuss them by legislative, national, and international requirements topped the discussions of Oman Sports Conference 2015. The conference revealed that e-media was able to deliver a number of sports issues related to sportsmen for concerned bodies to find solutions for them. The inauguration of the conference was presided over by His Excellency Sayyid Saud bin Hilal Al Busaidi, Minister of State and Governor of Muscat. Oman Sports Conference is aimed for success to access professional in legislations of all sports. The 29th meeting of the EMRO for certification of polymyelitis eradication commenced today in Masqad under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Saidi, who stated that Oman is free from polio. More details in the following report by Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Rubai. 29th meeting of the Eastern Mediterranean Regional Commission for a Certification of Polymyelitis Eradication hosted by the Sultanate of Oman commenced its three-day meeting. The meeting has been attended by members of the Regional Certification Commission, chairpersons of the Certification Committees and EPI managers from Afghanistan, Bahrain, Egypt, Islamic Republic of Iran, Iraq, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Libya, Morocco, Oman, Pakistan, Palestine, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, Syria, Syrian Arab Republic, Tunisia, United Arab Emirates and Yemen, including representatives from Rotary International Center for Disease Control and Prevention, as well as field staff and staff members from WHO headquarters. His Excellency the Chief Guest, Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Saidi, Minister of Health, addressed the meeting, during which he commended the efforts exerted by the members of the Certification Commission, the chairpersons of the National Certification Committees, and the national responsible officers for polio eradication for their commitment and continued efforts to achieve the target of polio eradication from the region. Uh, Oman was chosen by WHO to host the, w to host the WHO meeting for eradication of uh, polio. Polio, unfortunately, a disease that uh, continued to be a problematic in two countries, which both of them in our eastern Mediterranean region, uh, that's Pakistan and Afghanistan. And the reason is very obvious. It's not the lack of uh, uh, political will or uh, financial resources. It's the peace and security which is lacking in certain parts of these countries. The aim of this uh, conference, there are several, of course, the, but the first one, uh, to look at the reports of the countries in the Eastern Mediterranean region, the countries that eradicated polio for many years, including Sultanate Oman, to make sure that there are no shortcomings. 
Concern was expressed about the prevailing situation and political instability in some countries of the region, which is not only affecting the quality of polio eradication efforts in these countries, but also threatened to affect quality in neighboring countries. It's worth mentioning that in the year 2014, the major risks for polio eradication in the WHO Eastern Mediterranean region were the outbreaks in the Horn of Africa in Somalia and in the Middle East in Syrian Republic and Iraq, as well as the uncontrolled transmission in the two polio endemic countries, Pakistan and Afghanistan. Now, another challenge for the program is preparation for the withdrawal of the type 2 component of oral polio vaccine by April 2016. Member states will be provided with support to establish plans for the international of at least one dose of the inactivated poliovirus vaccine and bivalent OPV into their routine immunization programs. The way that we prevent these kinds of things from happening is making sure our children are immunized. So urging every, every family, make sure please you get your children immunized against polio so that they're protected. And the, the third thing I think that, uh, the third message that we have is don't give up. I mean, we must continue to focus on this problem until we absolutely finish every last poliovirus in the world. This meeting held here in the Sultanate will boost the efforts made to stop spreading of polio and eradicate it. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, I'm Abdullah bin Ahmed al Rubeiri, Harmer's Hotel, Muscat. The situations of the closed joint stock companies in the Sultanate are pretty good and their financial fines are limited. This is according to monitoring and auditing results that were conducted by the Ministry of Commerce and Industry for those companies which contribute in supporting the national economy. The closed joint stock companies in the Sultanate play a major role in strengthening the economy. They reached around 260 companies with a capital of 5 billion Omani Rials. Ministry of Commerce and Industry created the monitoring and auditing development to follow up with companies' procedures of registration and licenses. Still to come in our news bulletin. Oman air revenue during the first quarter of the current year reached 90 million Omani riyals. More than 90,000 people have fled their homes in Iraq's western province of Anbar, where Daesh militants have been gaining ground over the past week, the United Nations said today. Daesh militants have encroached on the provincial capital Ramadi, displacing thousands of families. Iraqi forces are preparing to mount a counteroffensive to reverse Daesh advances on the eastern edge of Ramadi after military reinforcements were sent from Baghdad. Provincial officials warned earlier this week Ramadi was in danger of falling to the militants. At least 2.7 million Iraqis have been displaced across the country since January 2014, including 400,000 from Anbar. South Korean police said today that they were questioning dozens of protesters after violence broke out at a rally denouncing the government's handling of a ferry disaster a year ago. Police used water cannons and pepper spray to break up thousands of protesters in the capital Seoul last night. Dozens of police officers and protesters were injured during the demonstration. The protesters, led by relatives of victims of the ferry disaster, tried unsuccessfully to march to the presidential Blue House. More than 70 police buses used to block a downtown street leading to the Blue House were damaged or vandalized. The official said around 80 people were being questioned over the demonstration. The demonstration capped off a week of vigils and rallies commemorating the anniversary of the disaster. A total of 304 people, most of them students from a single high school, died when the ferry Seoul sank off South Korea's southwest coast on April 16, 2014.
Strengthening cooperation between the Sultanate and Lithuania in education field was the focus of talks of Her Excellency Dr. Madiha bin Ahmed Ashibaniya, Minister of Education. During her meeting in Moscow with His Excellency Dr. Danios P. Felix, Minister of Education and Science of Lithuania. They also had cordial talks and discussed points of view on a number of aspects related to education as well as matters of joint interest. Exchange of experiences in health fields between the Sultanate and Lithuania was at the focus of talks of His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Saidi, Minister of Health, when he received in his office His Excellency Dr. Dainios P. Felix, Minister of Education and Science of Lithuania, and his delegation. They also discussed aspects of cooperation between the two countries in training, such as specialized nursing, besides possibilities of training exchange in medical science and matters of mutual concern. Under the theme Steps Without Difficulties, Omar bin al-Khattab Institute for the Blind organized a workshop aimed at male and female teachers of Arabic language in the governorate of Masqat. The workshop held to overcome obstacles facing students and teachers alike, to upgrade educational process for the blind, and to provide quality services at the centers for the blind in the Sultanate. Oman air revenue during the first quarter of the current year reached 90 million Oman rials, benefiting from decrease of jet fuel prices. The company achieved a growth in operating flights to reach 80 percent. Oman air seeks to reduce spending and focus to increase flights rate to Gulf cities and link domestic flights with international routes, in addition to increase the number of flights to Khasab to be two flights daily. Under the theme, We Are All Pharmacists, activities of the first pharmaceutical forum started in the Wilaya of Sur in the Governorate of South Asharqiya. The forum aimed to spread medicine culture among the society and to correct common mistakes in taking them. It included a number of awareness programs and activities in addition to lectures as well as a workshop on medicine safety and awareness exhibition. Buremi Hospital organized a kidney diseases conference which witnessed a wide attendance from doctors and specialists. The two-day conference witnessed the participation from the United Arab Emirates Hospital to exchange information and experiences. It was a great opportunity to keep up with the latest updates of kidney diseases. In a new initiative by the Director General of Health Affairs in the Governorate of Dakhiliya, a mobile blood bank was inaugurated today at the wilayas of the Governorate level. The initiative came as partnership between health sector and private sector in the Sultanate to enable contribution in this aspect widely. Now for the general weather forecast. Clear skies will prevail over most governorates of the Sultanate with dust accumulation in the governorate of Buremi and Bahra and low clouds and fog during late night and at dawn along the coastal areas of the governorate of Wusta and northern parts of the Far. Winds will be north to northwest tree light to moderate along the coast of the Sea of Oman and it will be northwest tree light to moderate along the rest of the Sultanate. Seas will be rough along the western coast of the governorate of Musandam with a maximum wave height of 3 meters. Along the rest of the Sultanate's coast, it will be slight to moderate with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. This is the Sultanate of Oman Television. Before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. The Supreme Council for Planning completes discussions of draft document of the ninth five-year plan and reviews ways of expanding the role of the private sector and investment funds. Dispute settlements and good governance for managing sports authorities top discussions of Oman Sports Conference 2015. 
and the Ministry of Health stresses that the Sultanate is free from polio. With that, we come to the end of tonight's news bulletin. From all of us here at the newsroom and the studios, it's good night.